Hey there, it's Anonymous T, where we spill the tea anonymously. Hello, 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 everyone. Hello, YouTubers. Hope you guys are all having an amazing day today, sending good vibes, sending positivity, sending blessings, and good energy to each and every single one of you. Thank you so much for tuning in. So today we are talking Love and Marriage Hunsel. You guys know why you are here. Today we are talking about, um, there is a content creator. I cannot remember their name at the moment. I apologize. My apologies. Um, but it looks like he was able to obtain what I believe to be a motion. I uh, because I saw some videos uh basically saying that this was what the judge was saying but it didn't sound right it didn't make any sense I so basically from what I gathered is there is this motion that Martel had requested um per his attorney on his behalf basically requesting all of these things uh the from Melody Sheree since their divorce, wanting access to passwords, bank accounts, social security numbers, uh, and all of the men that Melody Sheree has went out on dates with, anybody potentially who has uh, babysat the kids, uh, just all of these things, wanting to know the proceeds and the profits of Sugar Mama's line and any businesses that Melody Sheree has started since their divorce, uh, just wants access to everything, right? Um, and his bid to try to get sole custody and his bid to try to get child support from Melody Sheree and basically trying to play victim and trying to make it seem that Melody Sheree uh, did not have him see the kids for over 50 days as if it was her fault uh, when we know for a fact that it was something in fact that Martel Holt actually did. And and, and here's the thing, um, obviously this didn't work in his favor. I don't know uh, how this came to be, uh, if this was provided to somebody or if somebody just went ahead and tried to look up the case and, and get access to the documents or how that works because i thought uh certain cases if kids were involved that the records were sealed so i was a little confused as to how this motion became to be um <laughs> and how it was able to be um accessible essentially uh but essentially melody sheree's uh family is continuing to speak out and basically said listen this case is over this custody battle is over um you know this and that um and the latest that we had was that nothing was going to change that martel was not going to be awarded uh sole custody of the children however with that being said he still has to undergo uh psychiatric evals and, and get treatment for his issues right uh so potentially there still could be another determination later down the line um in which melody sheree could be awarded uh full custody of the kids uh with that being said all right so what do i think about it because a few of you are asking in my dms and in my comments uh what do i think about this i uh, so i didn't interpret it as a judge order um i didn't interpret this as the judge being team martel i interpreted this this is what martel was requesting to the judge from his attorney and thinking that he had some type of leverage uh, or having the gall or the audacity to request such things, you guys. Uh, but uh, with everything that has transpired since, with who Martel continues to show himself his true colors of who he truly is, uh, this didn't obviously benefit him, right? This didn't benefit him, um, him trying to gain access to businesses that um, have nothing to do with him. And, and this was the whole point. This is what I kept saying. Everybody that was coming for Melody Sheree and, and how she was, you know, being meticulous and how she was going to approach this divorce. And some of you were begging her to leave sooner and all of these things, but she was getting all of her affairs in order, right? She may have already been checked out of the marriage, right? But she was going to get all of her affairs in order first and foremost, which included dissolving all of the businesses that Martel was associated with her because she was the brains behind the operation. She is the person who is so Solely responsible for the success of Martel. She elevated him. She upgraded him. She made him look a lot better than what he actually did. Only for him to continue to cheat on her, continue to disrespect her, and to get his side chick pregnant, right? So obviously he didn't value Melody Sheree. He didn't value the marriage. He did not value the whole kids, the four children that he has with Melody Sheree. And so he has nobody to blame but himself, right? But here's the problem now, right? 
you gambled and you lost and you keep fumbling the bag and you're trying to keep up a lifestyle that you never should have had in the first place and it was all because of Melody Cherie's money. But basically, Melody Cherie said, you know what, we're going to dissolve everything. We're even going to make new LLCs. We're going to make new companies, new businesses that are strictly going to be tied to me only and also for my children uh, to build the generational wealth. But Martel, you are not going to have access to any of that because you fumbled the bag. You fumbled the ba bag, you gambled and you lost. Uh, you're a builder with no builder's license. You are a sweet talker uh, with nothing going on outside of Love and Marriage Huntsville. You are begging Melody Cherie to uh, tell you who she is dating, who she is involved with, um, specifically during the weeks that when you know most of the time it's Melody Cherie's family first and foremost and the audacity to do all of this as more footage keeps dropping from Real Housewives of Atlanta and Bravo of you spending quite a bit of time with Sheree even if it's fake right even if it's fake uh you seem to be spending a lot of time in Atlanta she's got a lot more personal photos and footage of the two of you that's beyond you know what has been provided that we have seen that was posted on social media so it sounds like you are well acquainted with Sheree even if it's an entanglement right even if it's an entanglement slash business arrangement uh, to mutually benefit both of you uh, to stay on reality TV, uh, the audacity to worry about Melody Cherie while you're splitting your time in Atlanta yourself, uh, trying to have a full-blown fake relationship for another TV show to try to get um, into those Bravo circles, to try to get into those Bravo spaces. And Andy and Bravo and their production is playing the heck out of you um as a result of that right but it's what you deserve it is absolutely what you deserve and i hope that melody sheree and her legal team are keeping track of this footage and showing all of these episodes and all of this time that martel is going to be featured on Real housewives of atlanta and him personally being in atlanta um and going to all of these events in atlanta that how is he going to have the nerve to wonder what Melody Cherie is doing and who she's doing anything with when you're not in Huntsville, Alabama yourself? Uh, you're spending all this time with Cherie. Whether it's real or fake, it's something, right? It's something that is going on uh, that takes you away from all of your children in Huntsville, Alabama, including your side chick, right? Who has been rather mute as of late right completely mute as of late continuing even if it is fake guess what there are people who are drinking the kool-aid there are people who believe that martel and sheree are a good match even if it's toxic you guys even if it's toxic and they know martel's cheating history right there are people who are buying the shenanigans, right? There are people who are buying this uh, because they like drama. They like to see mess on reality TV, right? Even if it's at the expense of their faves, right? So there is that. Uh, so let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you're notified the moment I post new content on my channel. And with that being said, I'll talk to you guys again very soon.